Sixers internet, hello, happy Thursday. Guys, thanks for joining us. Today, we're gonna get a steak sandwich and a Cuban sandwich from Cafeteria Mariano. <laughs> I don't know, <laughs> yeah, I'm tough to say. There's a lot of vowels in there, so glad you're here. Yeah, also, don't forget, we still got that uh, deal running 50% off all of our uh, older shirts on number 6 cheesecom I cannot stress this enough. This channel would not be around without you guys supporting us and going out and getting our gear. It is a massive, massive help. Mm -hmm. We're not getting as much in AdSense, so. <laughs> Keep helping us out, guys. We really appreciate it. Uh, number six cheese.com. Deals, honesty, food reviews. Let's go. Those two sandwiches are right in there. Excited to have them. Dude, authentic Cuban spots are so good. Acquired jump cut. All right, Corey Wagner, second angle. All right, let's see what we got going on here. This is the steak, Sammy, and look at that beast, dude. Holy smokes. So, bread looks amazing. There's the, the shaved steak, mozzarella cheese, I'm thinking. All these onions and some tom I'm not, there's a guy right here. I'm not gonna throw these at this. Just dude. as he works on this car. So no tomato tosses today, but I will be detomatoing. So inside there was like a regular and a double, right? And the, yep. the other double is only like a dollar twenty-five dollar fifty more, something like that. Um, so these were what? A little seven and some change? Seven and some change. Close to eight bucks. Seven seventy-five, I think, is what they both were. And there's my Cuban right there, looking absolutely divine. I think that's a good use of the word divine. All right, here we go. Cafeteria Mariano. Cheers. Mm-hmm. Wow. This is delicious. Mm-hmm. Mm, mm, mm. How was that? Amazing? It's insane. Like, oh my god. I only got the steak sandwich because I kept seeing people on Yelp and stuff. Mm-hmm. Talk about it, and it looks amazing. But now I'm a little. I'm having a little bit of buyer's remorse. I'm gonna. I'm gonna do the so thing I normally get shot down for. So now you don't like it. Mm-hmm. But this would be the perfect opportunity for a trade because they're so cut in half and so perfect for trading. All, All right, right, I'll do a trade. You'll do a trade? I'll do a trade. Are you guys happy? <laughs> Dude, someone just busted, <laughs> and it was me. All right, I'm gonna go red first. How's the red, pretty good? Good, a little vinegary, but no it goes well with a Cuban, for sure. Mm -hmm. I'm excited to get into this Verde. Big fan of the Verde. Cuban sandwich, I've started, like, when I get delivery, the very rare times I get delivery for at my apartment. I've actually been like looking up like Cuban or Puerto Rican, yeah. El Salvadorian spots like way more now. Now that I've done a little bit more traveling and we've also got to have all this stuff on the show. And like, cause the prices are so good for how much food you get. And they normally have like free delivery. It's like my new go-to move for, I don't just look for pizza or sushi or like, you know, the same types of stuff I always get. I've been doing this. The Cubans are fire. I don't know which one's better now that I'm eating both. The Cuban's amazing. And my green sauce is hot. Right? <laughs> wow. I think this steak sandwich is better than Arts. Yeah, that Arts drive in is seventeen dollars. I know. Not much better than Arts. Arts was great. Dude, I'm excited to try this. I feel like I never get the steak sandwich at a Cuban spot, so like this is the perfect trade. Mm-hmm. That's good. We're in heaven right now. Just a couple of fat boys. This is what it's all about. Steak. This is what it's all about. Steak sandwiches and Cubans. Mm-hmm. Oh, final reminder for the week. Oh, please do. You want to lay it on them? Yeah, let me chew first. <laughs> If you guys live under a rock and you don't follow us on socials and you don't watch the other videos, you don't know that we put out probably one of our most epic edits oh, yeah. of six years of doing this show. Oh yeah. We partnered with Truff Hot Sauce, which is a dear friend of the brand, a dear friend of ours, and we got to meet that crew. They reached out, out to us and wanted us to host an epic Chicago pizza tour. Went to five different spots in the city all in one day. We filmed everything, we helped produce it, we edited it and it's now live on Truff's channel. So it's linked below this video. Please, please, please go watch the video. Like it, comment on it, that'll help yeah. the algorithm. Just talk about like what you liked out of the video, maybe a spot you'd wanna try, what you love about pizza, anything. Um, it'll help us so much. We want the Truff people to know our audience is strong here in Sixerland. And so guys, thank you so much, go watch that. I'm so pumped for you guys to see it. It's so good. A lot of work went into it. And you know, we do these like little one-off food reviews. This is still a lot of work. That was like a whole different caliber yeah. of using our skills. It was really fun, guys, so. I think I like the Cuban better because it's more my style. I think it's I little, do too. It's a little more tender. Yeah, Sometimes with the steak sandwiches, chewy. you kind of pull. If that goes right through it. Steak sandwiches, typically, I think they're sandwiches because they're using a little bit of like the lesser quality steak. Mm -hmm. So I think typically they just are going to be a little bit chewier. Right. And I totally agree with you. I think mm -hmm. the Cuban is, that's what nudges it out for me too. It's the chewiness. 
yeah. like the tenderness factor. Flavor profile, I was surprised how, I was like, oh, I thought this would like, the Cuban would blow it away, but it's actually steak sandwich, it's got some decent flavor to it's it. It's great, it's, it's just definitely great. It's Cuban. I don't think, if, if I think if I had it not against this. Yeah. Like, it, it's really just like the fact that it's, I'm going bite for bite. Yeah. I think that this Verde salsa is my favorite, like Cuban, Mexican, anything, anything from like Latin America, like the best green sauce I've had in Chicago. I think so too. It's so, they're never spicy enough. And sometimes never. they're a little too like, listen, I like Fresh. some green. Yeah, they're a little too like, not watery. It just tastes like the garden. Yeah. This is a good combination of heat and like consistency and ver like and green vegetables. Yeah. <laughs> this is so good. I can't believe this sandwich mm. is less than $8. I you know, it's kind of a steal for Chicago. Some of those footlongs at Subway are eight, nine bucks now. Like, and you can get a local spot, like you can get this. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna have him. Cash only though. If you're going here and you're in Chicago, bring yourself some cash. Chicago's got a cash only thing, which I kind of dig. I like the old schoolness of it. Yeah. This is fantastic. Man, that's just, there's just something about Cuban food, and I know steak sandwich isn't really Cuban food, but like, I think just, it is though. Is I think it? the way they prepare the steak and that flattened bread. And yeah, that's true, that's true. There's something about that whole aura of a place like this that's just such comfort food to me. I just, it's, it's so just comforting. So good. I, I swear to God, like, if you're looking for, like, delivery ever, don't yeah. sleep on Cuban, Cuban food. food. It's so inexpensive for how much you get. Mm -hmm. Like, obviously, this is proof. Hey, guys, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. If you haven't already done it, I mean, really, like this video. It's really going to help a ton. Uh, and a question for you guys. What's the most slept on cultural food? I feel like everyone knows about Italian food. Everyone knows about Mexican food. At least up here north. I mean, we're not, I don't feel like I hear people talking about like no. getting Cuban food. To me, that's a slept on uh, uh, cultural food. What do you guys think a good slept on cultural food is? I'm gonna think on that and comment as well. So look for my comment <laughs> and just blaze right by. <laughs> yeah. Okay, uh, man, time to rate that out of other sam like local Chicago sandwiches. <laughs> out of five Mark Cubans, the owner of the Dallas Mavericks, mm -hmm. how many Mark Cubans also on Shark Tank? Do mm -hmm. you give the Cuban sandwich? I'll rate that one. Yeah, and then, then the, steak I'll do the steak sandwich. Okay, cool. <laughs> Yeah, because we, we both had both, but let's do let's the one we what picked. We ordered. Yeah. So go for it, Corey. Uh, that steak sandwich was great. It did. It was a little bit chewy. A little bit. Um, but that I think it's like something you should come to expect with steak sandwiches. They're not using filet frickin' mignons or wa wagyu beef on steak sandwiches. Why not? <laughs> I know, right? Uh, but it was it was great. I really like the cheese. I really like the onions. It's simple, delicious, better than Arts, and uh, more than half the price, or as good as Arts. I'll say maybe not better. It's. Arts is pretty good. So it's tough, but I think you bring them side by side. Just don't listen to anything that I say. I'm gonna give it a 3.75. Very good, very good. That was one of the best Cuban sandwiches I've had in Chicago. Uh, we had Cafe Cito before. Uh, we've had a couple other ones here and there uh, throughout the last few years of the show. That is one I'm gonna remember. I'm gonna leave a little bit of room for it getting better, but like it damn near did everything perfectly. Mm -hmm. um, I'm gonna go 4.75. I'm, I'm truly blown away. You think that's a pretty good score for that? Based on the what? Yeah, it's pretty good. I'm glad score that you. That. I'm glad you had it too. I haven't had enough Cubans though to like. I think it is now. I've only had like two Cuban sandwiches. You sound like this dude I went to my fraternity. He would always come in and he'd be like, dude, I haven't had enough Cubans yet. Yeah. He was always talking about chicks. And I was like, dude, what are you talking about? You just gotta speak better. Sounds very Michigan state Yeah, it's very <laughs> statey. <laughs> yeah, that's a good point though. I wanna I wanna start this thing now where we just eat more Cuban places. I am. I'm I on am. that trend. Yeah, um, also got Chicago people, people like Jesse Moss will know this. Yes. What are some Cuban spots that we might not know about that we should write uh -huh. in the old notebook? Yeah, we know about 90 Mile and the rest I'm gonna Google, so. <laughs> yeah. So if you know of any, please comment those. We got a lot of Chicago folks that watch these videos. But uh, guys, we'll see you tomorrow for a brand new video. Tomorrow, if you are a Patreon member, you're gonna get a screaming Sicilian, kind of like fun Americanized egg roll video. So sign up, 10 bucks a month, you get four videos uh, that no one else gets to see. And then also we'll be parceling in some fun gold belly stuff going forward. So thanks for rocking with us. New video every weekday. I've been doing this a long time, man. So long, dude.